Hey there, so we're back at the National Adventures Hall of Fame with Brandon. He is gonna walk us through their newest interactive exhibit. So I'm gonna turn you over to him. So this exhibit looks at the history of America's military conflicts and then the technologies that have come out of those. So we can go right in here. It's a little known fact that Abraham Lincoln is the only US president to also hold a patent. Uh, I didn't know that. Yeah. He's the only one? He's the only one. Not Thomas Jefferson? No. Nope. A lot of people think Thomas Jefferson, but Thomas Jefferson was actually uh, the first patent secretary, so he um, signed off on the patents when they But were he released, didn't hold any patents. Patent. Mind blown <laughs> right there. Um, so then we can see as we go through the room in a chronological fashion some, some of the major technologies that came out of the Civil War. This condensed milk is probably my favorite. Uh, Heck yeah, because who doesn't love some ooey gooey condensed <laughs> milk? Right. And Morse code is another big one. Um, and Martha Costin with signal flares as well. I love that females have equal time here. I think that's fantastic. Yes, yes. You know, and something that we talk with the kids about when we're doing camp invention and that I talk with my students about is that wartime often brings a big rush of inventing because you're that's filling true. a need. Like, you know, you look at ciphers and codes and cryptology and all of that was brought about because they needed to decipher things. That's so true, yep. war, while horrible, has brought about some amazing transformational things with inventions. And I always think it's cool how the technologies then can transfer into the larger society and become just ingrained in, in everyday life. Absolutely, like condensed milk. Who doesn't like some dolce de leche? And some radio and radio control here um, in World War I, gyroscopic compass uh, to help navigation here as well. Um, and then World War II, we get into some really cool inventions. So styrofoam. Oh, who doesn't love some styrofoam? And super glue. So you would never think that these would be results of military conflicts, but those those two came, um, as well as frequency hopping here with oh, Hedy Lamar, Lamar and George Anthill, um, the forerunner for our modern Wi-Fi technology. Oh, look at Maria Telkas. I see, and I've read about this one because of Camp Invention. Yep. But I never would have thought of solar thermal storage and having a female inventor because back then. You didn't talk about it, but now we do, and we glory in it. And I think it's amazing that all these pioneering women women are getting their due. But look at Mr. Charles Drew. He invented blood plasma preservation. How incredibly important is that for blood banks? Wow. I'm sorry, Brandon. I stole your thunder. Keep <laughs> on okay. going. Um, and then as we get into the Cold War, you see some of the more, you might recognize a little bit of these technologies a little bit more. you got Kevlar. And you have Timation, which is the forerunner for the modern GPS systems. Wow. And then medical, and the medical respirator. respirator yeah, Whew. Bird. Look at these patents. So my students that are watching this, what do I always tell you? Label the bejesus out of it. You might not be able to tell exactly what that is, but they've all got labels. Or theirs, in fact, have numbers that will then indicate back to a key. That's always totally acceptable. Some other major technologies that have come out of military conflicts. Penicillin. Uh, which has saved countless lives, and nylon, which was originally used for parachutes. Oh, for my eighth graders that just finished our parachute experiment, wouldn't you have loved to have a piece of nylon instead of some construction paper for that sucker, right? Um, and then we'll get into the Higgins boat in a, in a minute, and the impacts that had on World War II. Awesome. We're going to cut this broadcast here, and we'll get back to you in a bit.